Hey everyone, um, I've had some requests for a tutorial on these um, wine bottle twinkle light lamps. And I know they're not actually Dollar Tree crafts, but technically they are because I got the twinkle lights at Dollar Tree, so that should count. <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what you need to do. These are super simple and, and really, really cute and make great Christmas presents. And you can personalize them any way you want. Super simple. You wash out your wine bottle. Make sure it's clean. Make sure there's no sticky stuff from the, the, the um, labels or anything. You're going to drill a hole. You can't really see the hole in this one. But there is a hole underneath this um, embellishment. And... Um, you're going to drill the hole with a half inch diamond drill bit. It's specifically for glass. I got mine on eBay. They were three of them for like three bucks. Um, and we're still on our first one and we probably made, I don't know, nine or ten of these wine bottle lamps. Um, but anyway, after you drill the hole, I took some sandpaper and smoothed the, the um, hole out so it wasn't rough and cut the, the cord. Um... I didn't want to cut the cord right here. So anyway, um, once you start, I used elax elastic lace. Um, this was a bigger piece. These two I used smaller pieces. Um, and, and I glue it right here first, right next to the hole, and go all the way around, gluing at the bottom. And then I leave a little flap where um, the hole is so you can wire your, uh, you can put your string of lights in. Okay, and then once that's done, what I do is I get it where I want it on the sides right here. And it's better if you do stretch it a little bit. So cut your piece probably about an inch short so you can get a tight fit on these. And then I do it at the top. Glue, well, this one's clear up here, but most of the time they're right here. Glue it around the top. And you've already got the side seam glued. And then you're good to go. Um, some of them you might need to glue down. But if you're going to embellish it like this. When I hot glued this on. It stuck it down. So it's you know not kind of baggy in areas and stuff. Just make sure it's nice and smooth. So you want to get a pretty good look on it. And then on this one. I just embellished it with a ribbon rose. And some little pearl string accents. And a, and a ribbon. And then the base of it I am embellished with um, brooches and earrings that I got off of Dollar Tree really tree cheap and then I can use those for embellishments now this one I'll show you the embellishment whoops get that out of the way I don't know if you can see that that was an earring and the two pieces that look like wings were from um, a necklace and then that's embellished with a embroidered flower with some different colored lace and, and pearl strings. Get a good look at this. And this one, I just love the brooch on this one. This one has the prettiest brooch. It's all sparkly and everything. And basically the same way I use the um, embroidered flower with snowflake lace and regular lace and then the, the bordered flowers are all the way around so anyway i hope you enjoyed this quick and easy tutorial on twinkle light lamps wine bottle lamps and remember um i recommend not leaving them plugged in for more than 45 minutes to an hour because the twinkle lights do get hot in here oh and i forgot to tell you um to get the lights when you feed them through the the hole when you feed them through, they're going to cluster down at the bottom. So you need to take an old coat, a metal coat hanger, clip it off, use it as a hook, and pull them up. Um, and I don't know if I remember to tell you, but I did get the twinkle lights at the Dollar Tree. And some of the embellishments. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I think it was some lace and stuff. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.